All right, welcome to Binary Adventure. In this video, we're going to look at a full, small C program in x86 assembly. We're going to see exactly what every single assembly instruction does, and we're going to talk about why it does it. And that way you can see, and, and I'm, I have a struct in here too, because structs are more complicated to figure out when you're reverse engineering. And I, the reason why I'm doing this is because I find that people often don't know the fundamentals of assembly when we're reverse engineering or we forget them or we sort of just gloss over them and we say, well, this is the part where the stack's being set up, but that doesn't really matter. Let's move on. Let's go and try to find the API calls. And that's good because it helps us save time and it helps us analyze malware. But unfortunately, a lot of the really bad uh, exploits out there and, and shellcode do take advantage of the details of assembly language. And if you don't know them as an analyst, you might miss out on things and or just have a really hard time figuring that stuff out. So in this video, um, another good reason to do this, by the way, uh, to program and then and then disassemble your program is you learn a lot more about the compiler and you also keep both your forward programming and your reverse engineering skills up to par. So I'm going to explain this program in this video. This is going to be our, our little basic program here. Very, very basic program. Um, if you've done any C before, you probably recognize most of this here. Um, so we have a struct, which has three members. We have a character array, which is 50 bytes in size. We have uh, an integer age, which is four bytes in size. And then we have a hair color uh, character array, or string, which is another 10 bytes in size. So this struct total should be using 64 bytes. I say probably because we don't know. The compiler may add padding for alignment reasons, but we don't know at this point yet. So the struct is has been typed F to person, so it's basically a struct person here. And then during main, the first thing that we do is we create a struct person pointer on the stack. And that pointer on the stack points to um, the actual struct person, which we throw on the heap right here. And then what we do is we go ahead and populate each one of those members with different pieces of data and then we go ahead and use printf to print out the data so and then we free it and then we return so very simple program um, now go go ahead and go to the next video and we're gonna start in on the assembly